The FDA's vaccine advisory panel continues to debate the future of boosters in the U.S. They started at 830 this morning and they're still going now. Our Dr. Frank Me George has been following those discussions today and has a closer look now at how this could impact all of us, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Devin, you know, so to be clear, there was no vote at today's meeting. Instead, the FDA actually asked its panel of outside experts to weigh in on where we go from here, including when a second booster may be recommended for everyone and whether the booster shots should be updated to match the currently circulating variants. Although we've seen a major decline in the number of COVID-19 cases in the country, the virus continues to circulate and all evidence points to the fact that we'll it will continue to do so and will potentially cause waves of an increased number of cases uh, at points in the future. This is particularly of concern as we head into the coming fall and winter season. With that concern in mind, the panel reviewed data on the effectiveness of boosters and predictions of what the next variant could look like. Scientists said new variants have been sweeping through the population remarkably fast. Omicron took over in just four months. Compare that to the flu. The faster influenza, H3N2, takes generally three to five years for a new uh, strain to emerge. While it may seem like a no-brainer to update the vaccines, there's actually some risk of reducing their current protection against hospitalization and death. What we know from influenza is that if we go down into a very strain-specific vaccine, that there is a risk that if a uh, variant emerges from the original part of the um, phylogenetic tree, we might be further away from uh, the breadth of protection that we're getting. Other experts stressed any decision to update the vaccines will need to be made soon to have new boosters ready for fall. If you're not on your way to that clinical trial um, by the beginning of May, I, I think it's going to be very difficult to have collectively across manufacturers enough product to meet that demand. Now, some manufacturers are already working on a vaccine that could protect against two strains of COVID. The thing is, they haven't all picked the same two strains. Now, the panel made it clear that more data and coordination is going to be needed to create a specific timeline for making any changes. You know, Frank, it would be nice if the protection in these vaccines, if we could get it to last longer. Uh, was, there, was there any talk about that today? Well, you know, not so much as today's meeting, but actually the National Institutes of Health launched a clinical trial last week to study both updated boosters and different types of vaccines to see if basically we can get protection that is not only effective, but also longer lasting. Yeah. And we're going to follow those studies closely. That would be helpful. Yeah. All right, Frank.